Hello, this is Candace again. We got cut off the last time, so I'll have to do this in two parts. So right now I'm in my front yard. You can see my bicycles here. Um, I'm walking around. I see a lot of the plantain, a lot smaller up here. I see some pink foil, some dandelion, and here we go. Here we find the all beautiful chickweed. This is a chickweed. It's very, it's like a little viney thing almost. And this is what it looks like when it, um, when it grows up a little bit. It'll, it's got a little bit of bugs on it. I'll have to wash that off. Um, so this, um, grows up a little bit. It'll get star-shaped flowers. And this is actually very medicinal. This is actually, um, the chickens eat it. And that's why it's been called chickweed. It's a stellaria. So, um, it is edible for human consumption. It's actually very tasty. Um, it's good in salads. It can be, um, cooked or, um, I don't see a lot of it. Unfortunately, I have to mow my yard, so I don't see a lot of that here today. Oh, here's some little babies. So if you're looking, you might be able to find some small ones, and so we've got some little tiny ones. But I think for the purpose I'm going to use it for today, I have enough. The reason why we want to use the chickweed um, internally, if we make a uh, um, chickweed water or tea out of this, um, it can help in weight loss. Um, it also is very, very good for the skin. Um, it's an emollient. Um, they um, recommend mixing it with like rose water and using it as a toner for the face. Um, chickweed is just an all-around awesome herb. And just um, reason why we use these herbs for the skin is because of their detoxifying nature, because they're emollient nature, and they're, um, they, they just soothe everything. They soothe all those passages, all those places that hurt, and, and when those little babies come over and they got all these little horrible bug bites, these, this little salve, it's these three little herbs that I'm going to make, is just makes into such a wonderful, wonderful medicine. So what I'll do now with these is let them d uh, dry out a little bit. I'll probably give um, some of them a little rinse to get some of these things off of them. And then um, let them dry out a little bit and put them in some oil. And what I'll do is I'll soak them in the oil overnight and have that um, going at a very low temperature to get to release those properties out of the herb. And I'll add a beeswax and that'll be the salve. So yeah, this is the green salve with the chickweed, the plantain, and the burdock leaf. Enjoy.